Paul, after last Saturday's slow start against West Brom, uh, couldn't have been more different the start of today's game. Yeah, look, sort of. Uh, I think goals changed the, the the sort of impact of the the situation. I mean, you've got a, a fast start this week and a slow one last week, but probably the game wasn't too much different other than we scored the goal and we conceded one last week. It does change things instantly, and uh, that's why goalkeepers and centre forward and both penalty boxes are so important. So we had a goalkeeper today that kept the ball out of the net and did really well. But Christy Pym was, was was just so solid and trustworthy in all that he did. Um, and we like to we would like to have got a second goal that might have just eased the anxiety a little. But we played to the conditions. We kept our positions. Players took away their pride and their ego about the way they wanted to play and just did what was necessary. It was a really I mean, I've just used the word already, it was a really turgid affair and uh, it was a long 85 minutes for a manager to see a side score a goal, ask them to keep a clean sheet and you know, go right through the game at 1-0. You've changed things around a little bit this week, it seems to be getting forward as, as quickly as possible at the start of the game and with Jake Taylor sat in just behind Jaden Stockley, Taylor also had a good game. There was, I, I can say there's no different to how we thought last week or the week before the week before that. The opposition has a, has a, has a part to play in how you play. Um, so there was no different in terms of how, in any of our recent home games, how we've set up to play at all. So, you know, it's been the same, been the same setup 4-4-2, and we played that today. And um, you know, we have to adapt. We, you know, it's a really difficult pitch at the moment to play on, and uh, not the best spectacle to to see, I guess. But home fans like to see home wins, and we've just sat five or six, or whatever, in a, in, in a row. So it can't be too bad. No, you've got the victory, but um, a bit of talk about whether you might add to your squad uh, during this transfer window. Is there anything you can update on that? I think the word there, the, the, the pertinent uh, uh, word there is, is might. I might. Um, if, if the right circumstances um, allow me to get the right player in that, that adds and gets the balance right with, with, with the squad, then I will. I'm looking to do it, but I have to find the right the right balance and um, we are looking I've been looking and but I'm not going to get something just for the sake of it and I, I need to get the right player whether it's a player coming into the team or a player to support the squad um, strength in depth or give something different to the team there's all kinds of variations we're looking at and uh, just finally a couple of harder away games are ahead of you but back into the playoffs only again tonight although it is very tight still. it's very tight I just you know it is so tight two or three games and the whole picture changes so we are there but I think we've got a real test with the Notts County and the Luton game coming up soon. So I think we all know that we want to, and we need to improve our away game, our away form. So that we're talking about. It is difficult to adjust how you play from playing here to then going away from home and needing to do things a little bit differently. So that's something we need to be conscious of. But um, I guess over those next two away games, we'll, we'll have a pretty good indication of how we fare against the top two teams in the league.